Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and today we will see another exciting topic about how we can set up Selenium Grid in Docker environment. So we can call it as Dockerized Selenium Grid, right? Normally, companies spend so much amount of money in in maintaining a Selenium Grid infrastructure, but after the advent of Docker, it becomes very very easy now. So we're gonna see about that in detail, and first we will see the issues with the existing approach of using the selenium standalone chrome or selenium standalone firefox we we have seen how to run our selenium test uh, in selenium standalone chrome and selenium standalone firefox and we also understood how the internal architecture of this particular container looks like right and we have some existing problems with them we will see that in detail and how the se setting up the selenium grid can help us to resolve those problems that's what we're going to see in this particular vi video and these are all the different steps that we will follow you know we will create our hub container we will we'll create the node we will create the firefox node and then we'll also run our test in the dockerized selenium grid that is the ultimate goal right we want to execute our selenium test right so whether be it in a standalone chrome or uh, you know your dockerized selenium grid whatever so at the end we want to achieve uh, like we want to execute our selenium test cases in 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 a container right so and then we'll also see how we can do the scaling up and scaling down operation uh, you know when setting up this grid good now uh, first without wasting much time let me go to the uh, you know first we'll see about the issues what we have so suppose this is the exact environment that we have replicated we have been using selenium standalone chrome this is a container and it is exposing 4444 port and what we are doing we have a test in our physical infra here and then you know maybe uh, we have our selenium test here and we are delegating it to the port 4444 which in turns delegate to container port 4444 and this standalone chrome itself has a grid kind of inf infra and the tests are getting executed here and the results are updated back to this particular you know uh, sender now what is the problem with this approach everything is working fine now this is work this will work fine if you want to you know execute in chrome now there is a requirement that i also need to test my application in firefox so what you need to do you need to create one more container with the help of selenium standalone firefox okay selenium standalone firefox standalone sorry guys it's big so i'll just standalone firefox okay so you want you want to create something uh, some container from this particular image and then you want to you know expose a port maybe you expose a port called uh you know this is exposing port 4444 but since i cannot map this to this 4444 to this so what i have to do i have to you know uh, allocate a different port in my physical infra and delegate all my tests to here okay this is what we have been doing right in the previous video if i go to my workspace so if it is chrome i have to delegate to 4444 if i want to run it on firefox i am delegate to 4445 so this is the problem so if i want to run it on opera i also need to allocate another port okay so there is a problem i cannot keep creating multiple ports and tracking these multiple ports is always a difficult task so even apart from uh, you know multiple browsers even if you want to test this particular thing in a chrome versions of 86 87 80, 88 89 89 so you need to test it in four different browser versions so this particular selenium standalone chrome maybe it will have only one version be it 86 or 87 whatever but it will have just one version in it so if you want a different one you need to pull a different image again for that also you need to expose a different port and then you have to maintain the different ports for that so these two things are really difficult so if you just want to execute on one particular version of the chrome then you can use selenium standalone chrome itself or your selenium standalone firefox itself if your requirement is multiple browsers yes these these containers cannot serve you the purpose so that's why we need something like selenium grid and the third case is like i like i already explained okay if you want to execute on multiple versions of chrome then there is also a problem so you need to pull another image you need to expose a port and then in in physical infra you have to you know open another port <coughs> to provide the linking so these are all the three problems and the fourth problem is suppose due to some reason this container may crash because it have it doesn't have enough sufficient memory or you know it you haven't mounted enough volume so it it failed due to some reasons okay if it fails that's it your container got crashed it will not restart so so there is a problem so if if it is if it didn't restart you cannot run your test that's a problem for the first three problems you can have a solution as selenium grid for the fourth one you have something called as restart policy which we will cover in the next video but for now 
we will we will try to fix the first three points with the help of selenium grid now if someone doesn't know what is a selenium grid and we will try to understand with this particular image so selenium grid infrastructure consists of a hub and multiple nodes or it can be a same node you know uh, you can have two nodes three nodes or just one node it doesn't matter but you have someone called hub you can consider him like your test lead or test manager who delegates the task to multiple people the node one and node two you can consider them like your freshers or you know someone who is working under them right so so this guy delegates the work to them so how this can help us okay so as as a, you know we can just delegate the test to this particular url that's it this guy make sure it will check the desired capabilities if if it is chrome it will delegate to this okay it will own the task okay you don't have to worry about it if it is firefox it will delegate to this okay so this is good now i cannot set up this whole infra in a physical environment right so it requires a lot of machines suppose i need a linux machine i need windows machine okay setting up this requires a lot of cost that's why we going to move this whole infrastructure inside a docker environment that's why we call it as dockerized selenium grid okay if you notice there is a small difference so you can have linux linux machines windows machine mac machine in a in a physical environment but in case of dockerized environment all your nodes and hubs are all maintained in a linux containers so because uh, you know the selenium guys have used the base image with with the linux so you know everything is is you know the whatever the container that you are creating is actually linux good so that's the only different apart from that we are just moving this whole infrastructure into dockerized environment okay now uh, let's try to uh, run the few test and then i'll first we'll understand how we can do this okay so there are three steps first you need to create a selenium hub container and then you need to create a chrome container chrome node container and firefox node container if you notice um, from this diagram okay first i am going to create this container okay how how will i create this container there is already an existing image available created by selenium guys i am going to utilize that and then i will create this particular node chrome container and then i will link these two things okay so that it, hub knows this is a node okay it has to send a request okay this guy newly joined his team he needs to allocate task to him so the hub can clearly understand the same way i will create another node firefox node and then i i will also link this with the hub so the, there are three process one create hub then create the node and link it to hub create the node to and link it to the hub this is the process that we are going to do uh, you know let's go, go to the common prompt and now let's type docker ps to check if there is any container that is up and running it shouldn't be there yeah good now let me check the docker images i have already pulled the images guys again you can use docker image uh, ls or docker images okay it's up to you so i am using docker images i think i have lot of images if you if you notice uh, there is a standalone firefox and chrome which we used before okay let me do something uh, i don't want to you know uh, miss this thing to get a clear view maybe i'll do a filtering okay uh, docker images i just want to filter something so i can use hyphen f and based on the reference the name okay the name it should start with selenium so all this selenium hub everything is starting with selenium okay and then it can have whatever it want and then having the latest so if you guys understand this is simple command i just want to there are so many images i just want to filter out the images that is starting with selenium and having whatever this is a wild card right this is a regular expression kind of thing so you can have uh, you know node firefox debug or node chrome debug whatever but the tag should be latest that's what i have given so uh, this is what i want to filter okay just click on enter so it will only filter those images that you know so that we can get a clear view so there are four four containers with this particular thing we are not interested about it we can ignore it we need just the three these three images okay good again if you want to use debug you can use debug again if you don't want this you can also use there is a image with just this name okay node hyphen chrome debug gives you an option to attach a vnc and then you can also see the execution inside this but you know if you if you are interested we can do that but we will see that in detail when we use selenite okay but for now i will use debug image it's your wish to use either node hyphen chrome or node hyphen chrome hyphen debug good now let let me first create the first step is to create the docker container right yeah first docker and then uh, i want to run a container hyphen d because i want to run this whole thing in the background so hyphen d is fine i want to expose for this particular selenium hub will expose w444 port for my me to delegate my test 
so i am i'm linking that with my local host 4444 so right hand side is your container port 4444 good once you are done with this you can also name the selenium hub the selenium hyphen hub okay you, you are naming it and then i want to create this particular container with the help of this particular image that is selenium slash hub okay and then you can also mention the tag name if you want otherwise latest will be taken by default once you click on enter it should spin up a selenium hub for you okay you notice it has created me uh, some container okay so if you want to you know docker you can also inspect it or you can also see the logs okay container logs and then aa3 okay so if you notice it it will produce you all the logs okay this is the log so it is telling this is the port this is the hub and everything okay if you also want to have a look at it you go to the and then uh, click on this and then click in so if you notice i am going here okay if you click on config this is the config so this is exposing a port 4444 the role is hub okay so we have created the hub now our second task is to okay now our second task is to okay create the first node so i am going to use maybe i will display the images so that it's easy for me now i am going to create the node image a node container for the chrome so docker run hyphen d i don't want the logs i lock, let the logs be in the background okay and then hyphen hyphen link again guys linking is not recommended but still for for demo purpose we are not going to use this approach anyway we will use something called as docker compose so this is just a, for your you know understanding how this whole thing works i want to link okay i want to link which one i want to link i want to link it with selenium hub selenium hub is the name that we given for the hub right so selenium hub and and this is going to act as a hub okay and then uh, you can mention uh, what is the selenium you can just copy it so this is the image that it has to use and then you can also mention latest now what it will do it will create a node selenium node and then it will link it with your selenium hub okay let's wait for it to link It should not take much time. It should be done in few seconds. And in the meantime, we'll go here and then we'll try to reload it. If you notice, it has created me a Chrome version of 88 because this particular container is having Chrome 88. Okay, good. Let let me go here. I don't know my common prompt got stuck. Maybe I'll create new one because I again I'll do Docker ps. So that we can see what is the container up and running. We should show two containers. Yes, both of them are ready. Let's try to create the third container. Docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen link, and then this time Selenium hyphen hub. This is going to act as a hub. Okay, Selenium hub is the name that we gave for the you know image the container. Again, if you want to use container ID, you can also give this container ID. That's absolutely fine. but giving a name is much much recommended right and then you can also mention selenium slash node hyphen firefox hyphen debug all and latest again guys if you find the video little slow please change the video settings to 1.5 or 2 now i want to create the second node this will have the firefox good i think it got created and if i go here and then if i again refresh it should see it has created me a 69 version of firefox for me to execute my test good that's absolutely fine guys so if you notice again if i type docker ps it will it will display me three containers okay one is hub one is node chrome one is node firefox all are ready you can now execute your test let me go to the workspace and if you notice i don't want this anymore okay i have created one simple test okay maybe i i will create a data provider which will which will try to feed chrome chrome firefox firefox okay which means this particular test case with execute you know will be executed with four different set, set of test data one is chrome another one is chrome another one is firefox another one is firefox so let let me feed this here string browser okay and based on the browser it needs to pick the which which one okay so now i can also tell data provider equal to get data So if you run it now, it 
you know since i have given parallel equal to true it will return all these things at in parallel so that four test four test will be executed in parallel but if you notice we only have two browsers so i think it will execute one you know two first and then it will wait two will be in the queue once the execution complete next two will be picked okay let's see what's happening okay run as test ng test okay everything should work fine guys so let me go here and then click on refresh you notice it will be occupied see both the chrome and the firefox is occupied and two requests are still waiting see two requests are waiting because there are only two browsers okay so so there are only two containers for you to execute the test but you are sending four tests okay so it will wait until the first getting completed so reload it again so again one will be picked still only one test is pending so that will be picked so i think chrome tests got completed firefox is a little slow that's okay and then the it should complete the test as well in firefox so it printed me four times google which is like you executed this particular set of test case four times okay this is really really cool but now i want to scale up this okay i want to scale i want to run all these four in parallel then what do you need to do you need to run this whole test suppose this is a i need to create one more container for the firefox right so this is another i am trying to create one more node okay so this node if i run it now it will create another container and it will link to the hub okay i think it's done now we created a firefox so now it will become three two firefox and one chrome just reload it again see two firefox and one chrome okay now if, even if you want another chrome you can also run that particular command so here instead of this you can write node hyphen chrome okay once this is done click on enter so it will create one more container for you so total there will be two chrome and two firefox if you want a different version just change the image name here okay instead of it is if you give 85 okay it will create a new container with 85 chrome version of 85 okay that will be very easy for you to you know how see you notice two chrome there is two chrome and two firefox okay if i run this test now all the four tests will be executed in parallel you notice it took almost 42 seconds for this whole thing to execute uh, maybe yeah now let's see what's happening all four will be picked in parallel see all four are picked in parallel let me read, let me read it now if you notice all the tests got completed and if i go to the workspace yes all of them got passed and then yeah the, the firefox is little slow that's okay uh, compared to you know chrome this time it took very less time so this is how we can run multiple tests you know without any any hindrances okay but the problem here is okay you have to if you want to scale up to five chrome and five container five firefox you need to run this command five five times right that's something that looks clumsy maybe if it is a one time approach that we can do that but if it is you know you know you want to do it often then i think this is not the best way we will see about something called as docker compose in the upcoming videos so that how we can fix the you know overcome this particular issue guys so i hope you all have learned something new today okay if you guys like my content please do subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and keep pouring your support to testing mini bytes i'll see you in another great video until then tata bye bye from amudan tata bye bye